finish it off. Very, very exciting and, and very, very well deserved. This is a guy that has just kept riding his heart out over and over and over. You can see all the all of his friends and family from Brazil are down in the opposite arena waiting to congratulate Guilherme Marchi. This is something that is, is really long overdue. The Brazilian flags are flying. A chance for the whole country to celebrate. Number one position in our Stanley Tools and Security Invitational. Well, clearly Cody Lostro in the driver's seat. Great bull ride. I mean, he did it all right. And, and I'm going to tell you, I don't think. The Renato that was 90.5 in Pueblo on this bull now. Not the guy that we saw three weeks ago in Connecticut buck off of this bull. Renato Nunez with a chance to almost punch his ticket to the gold buckle. Soldier Boy clearly doesn't care about any of this. He was the number one pick in the draft. This is the one he wanted after, after Renato won the round last night on Closet Gangster with an 89 and a quarter. This is a bull that on his best day will give you over 92 points. Here we go. Is it the clincher? Renato looks fantastic on his way he is four for four still perfect that was absolutely bull riding perfection right there when the celebration after the eight seconds grabbing his hat to fan that bull what do you oh, guys oh that was awesome i was about to say what do you guys think down there pretty solid trip for this bull tonight yeah this bull was really good it's backed up under himself just like everybody knew he would including renato he did exactly what he was supposed to do, is stay on. I thought he was fixing to get, I didn't know that he was taking a long time to shoot and the judges were starting to holler at him. I didn't know what was fixing to happen. I bet he's, I don't know, I bet he's got a little bit of a fine coming, but I bet it don't matter to him right now because I see a million dollars in his future. A four-way tie for third place in the round. That's the fourth 89 we've seen, and you can't find any fault. If he takes him bad, there's a good chance this bull can foul himself. Now clean. I tell you what, guys. There's the score for Alves, but Ty, you're going to weigh in first. That was not a great out for Asteroid, but let's celebrate the 2014 World Championship of Silvano Alves. He wins the event. He is our world champion. This man is going to continue to set the standard in this sport. This is the moment that everyone that ever dreams of being a bull rider wants to experience, getting carried around on everybody's shoulders. Here we go. Wipeout is the bull. JB Mooney is going to work. He's got it. He did it. He did it. He did it.
Ladies and gentlemen, the scores. The scores are in and there is no doubt. How about the numbers for J.B. Mooney? 93 points. Those are three of the future on the PBR. setting perhaps a new standard for the round aboard Catfish John. He takes a shot to the chest that's even going to impress Jared Allen. 91 points. Exactly what he needed to do. This is the way a guy rides when he wants a world championship. I mean, look at this. This is two great athletes going at it as hard as they both can and I'll tell you what he's got a lot of adrenaline pumping through him when that it could have derailed that world title because I think he had the upper hand on Lockwood fast forward now two years later Lockwood has the upper hand on this bull and any bull for that matter. Kate, this is just another example for Jess to showcase that maturity he tells us about. You guys, I talked to Jess about his impressions of not only what he was able to accomplish, but his closest competitors in round number one, and he said it went exactly as I expected. I don't expect to fall off, and I don't expect them to be falling off either. And he said because of that, I have to have the best score coming out of round number two. And he said when it comes to the draft, if you don't have that top pick, you cannot win for tomorrow. So it's all strategy for luck. intimidation and Jess Lockwood with one heck of a helmet toss the judges may have to score that as well 91 and a half Lockwood has turned into a dominating bull rider it, it is not hyperbole when I talk about this guy having the opportunity to be the best that the PBR has ever seen because he's already won won one world championship he's got he's in great contention to win a second one and he's 21 22 years old ty we're seeing greatness i'm telling you guys that to have the opportunity to see jess lockwood and jose vitor lime go head to head like this this, this is something that the sport is going to remember for a long time and it's going to be one of the greatest matchups you've seen in sports we're seeing two guys His two wins since the summer break that Pacheco was on a way to really challenging J.B. Mooney for this gold buckle this season. But Pacheco stubbed his toe last week in Allentown trying to right the ship here against Compact. He looks to be okay. Allentown was simply a week off in retrospect. Pacheco back on form, and that's the first 90-point score we have seen this weekend, Ty, and that will move Pacheco to the front. This is a good ride, and, and look at the amount of confidence that he has. You know, there, you know, I always say his movements are always really crisp. He knows right where he needs to go to. You can see him opening up with that outside leg. now. Two weeks before the finals, this is not the kind of get off you want to have. And it's like he started to commit himself and then he kind of changed his mind and then he just kind of started falling in there. And boy, that made me close. A front row seat to watch the man they love. Greatest 
season this sport has ever seen leaves Lemmy as a two-time back-to-back world champion. Wait for these numbers. For the fourth time, he and Wupa combine for what is a whopper of a total. We're seeing one come in already at 25 for the rider, 24 and a half on the bull, Craig. These are going to be big. Keep in mind that that record is 97 in change. As the adrenaline, oh my gosh, 98 and three quarters. It just popped up. It's another record setting ride. Look, it takes two to tango, right, in this sport. You have got to have Jose Vitor Lemmy, the greatest season. There's no debate about it. This is the greatest season we've ever seen, but you have got to have a great animal athlete, and that's what Wupa is. Let's talk about the animal athlete first. 48 and three quarters for Wupa. A perfect rider score for Lemmy. 50 points, never been done. Well, this is a man. A first in Jose Vitor Lemmy. Everything that he's done all season long. Uh, I, this guy is unbelievable. I am so proud of where he has taken the sport of professional bull riding to.